The city asked voters to approve a bond to use taxpayer money to build a stadium for New Mexico United, but the voters overwhelmingly said no. But tonight, Target 7 has learned there's something else taxpayers have been paying for this entire time. Here's John Cardinelli. This was the scene more than a year ago. Mayor Tim Keller and New Mexico United owner Peter Trevisani on the back of a pickup truck making this announcement in front of fans. We are sending a resolution to council on Monday to put a stadium on the ballot in November. They did, but in the end, 65% of voters did not agree to use tax money to fund a stadium. The team has been playing here at Isotopes Park since 2019. And frequently before they play, something big needs to happen. When you have the shift in usage, so you've got to configure it from a baseball to a soccer stadium and then configure it back, that costs money. According to invoices obtained by Target 7, the city has been paying the bill to convert the field. Each time it can cost as much as $49,000. In all, taxpayers have paid about $960,000 since the United started playing games here in 2019. Paul Guessing of the taxpayer watchdog group Rio Grande Foundation opposed the bond to build a stadium. He's calling foul. I, I think it is something that taxpayers, generally speaking, should not be on the hook for sports stadiums. The ballpark is owned by the city, and for nearly 20 years it has had a lease agreement with the Albuquerque Isotopes. We pay for the ground screw, we pay for the uh, upkeep of the field. The city pays for you know, the physical functioning of the building. Isotopes general manager John Traub said that the baseball club has given back about $30 million in the last 20 years to taxpayers from its lease and ticket and concession sales. Some of that money they also generated from subleasing the park to the United. Very little of that $30 million is a result of, I mean, the soccer team's only been playing in the building for a few years. Isotopes grounds crews were doing the conversions. The baseball team then sent these invoices to the city, and they get reimbursed. We were told to, that we would get reimbursed from the city. And uh, I, from that point, I don't know what the agreement is between the soccer team and the city. Isotopes Park is currently getting a new field and scoreboard. Traub said that it's being paid for by the city. Part of the lease agreement, TJ, is that the city is responsible for keeping the facility up to major league standards. So replacing the field and doing a lot of the work that's being done right now is part of the uh, requirements from, from Major League Baseball. Target 7 reached out to the city. They tell us the city council approved the expense when they passed the city budget. This is the budget. It's nearly 450 pages. Target 7 combed through it and could not find any mention of field conversions. We did find that about $2.1 million was allocated for what is called a baseball stadium operating fund. The city council, as a general rule, doesn't go line by line and approve every checkbook item that's done, um, but it's included in the budget. Target 7 reached out to several city council members. Most of them don't remember discussing the issue. Pat Davis was one of them. He said he has no problem with the expense. This is a national class facility for sports. Um, we're clearly finding that bringing soccer to that stadium is good for the community, it's good for the city, it's giving us something good to do. Officials in Mayor Keller's administration said they were unavailable to do an interview. In an email they said, Isotopes Park is a city-owned facility. Field conversions are a service the city provides for our tenants, New Mexico United and the Isotopes, to keep them playing at the facility, generating revenue for the city, and providing affordable family fun for our residents. Guessing says this type of an expense should have its own separate vote before council and possibly taxpayers. This would be fair to ask the citizens of Albuquerque, do you want the soccer team and you want to subsidize this with your tax dollars or not? Target 7 did just that and hit the streets to ask taxpayers whether they believe they should be paying for the conversions. We got a mixed response. New Mexico United is a private organization. They should be taking care of it themselves and not, not having the taxpayers fill the bill for it. I would probably suggest that it would be a 50-50 split because it brings uh, revenues from the stadium. I feel that the taxpayers need to invest into our city. Our city needs to grow. Our city needs more quality. Oh, served up and the rebound right to the waiting the United isn't the only team in the USL championship that plays in a baseball stadium. 
Rival El Paso Locomotive also shares a stadium with the Chihuahuas. Both clubs are owned by the same owner. We reached out to the city of El Paso, which like Albuquerque owns the stadium. We were told that the club owners pay for the conversions themselves. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. And we reached out to United. A spokesman sent us a statement saying in part, when the New Mexico United owners were first looking to bring a soccer team to New Mexico, the city of Albuquerque agreed to provide and pay for a soccer field for our matches if we played at Isotopes Park. Without that agreement in place, we would not have been able to bring the team here.